guys, welcome back to Cumberland Homestead. This is Woody. It's the 30th of March and I got a package yesterday. I'm just going to spin you around. So this came yesterday about just before lunchtime and it is my asparagus crowns that I've been waiting for. I ordered them last September and um, apparently anyway you've got a you've only got about they're advising 24 hours to get them in so if you've seen one of my previous videos I showed you they're going to go on a s small plot on the micro orchard it's actually where there was once a greenhouse and in one of my previous videos I've showed you where I've got the trench ready dug I've put compost in so it shouldn't be too big a job I'm going to take them down now and um, there's a two or three more in another place I'm going to plant and then I've got uh, about two or three more up here at home and then there may be a couple left over so I'll uh, I'll go and get them in now all right guys we're down on the micro orchard so if I just turn you around so they've come in one of these the APC was the courier and then they came in this they've come in this sort of uh, heavy duty um, paper sack here's the um, certificate if you will UK plant passport and it's variety I'm not sure how you pronounce this G U E L P A Guelph is it millennium and there are one year crown bare rooted and just in case if you want to know it's from Blackmore Nurseries to United Kingdom based in the UK here so just fish one out So, for any of you who have not planted asparagus before, this side here you want pointing upwards. And then what we're going to do is just spread these roots. You can see how long some of those must be getting close to two foot long. So, we're going to spread those over the trench. So, I haven't got my tripod, so I can't film the whole thing, but I'll, I'll get one in and then these go 18 inches apart. Alright, guys. There they are. I would have liked to have spread the roots out a little bit more, but uh, the trench isn't that wide really, so they'll be okay though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine in there. So what I'm going to do now is just, I've, there's compost in the bottom, as I say, and I'm just going to put some blood fish and bone on each side and then just rake it back over here. That's it. Right, that's it. They're in. What I'll probably do is come back with some uh, a wheelbarrow or two of homemade compost and just uh, spread that on the top. There's not actually that much soil cover in the top of the crown, probably only an inch or two. So just a little bit of compost on the top just for added measure. Right, let's find a home for some more. So in this little bed here, uh, you can see there's three. I think I lost one. These were just leftovers from when I had my allotment. I grew them from seed. It's variety Mary Washington. So I think these will be coming up in their, this will be their third season. Pretty sure that's right. So I can definitely get, well, one for sure. Could squeeze two in maybe, but one. And these sirens, there's never a day goes by. And I can get three in there, so that's another four. What I'll have to do here, obviously, I'm just going to kind of excavate a hole and uh, put, put it in with the roots spread round and then cover it over the same way as I did the trench. Right, a bit like that, same thing. Just trying to get the roots spread out as best as possible. So what I've had to do here is take the soil out, put it in the barrel, then obviously I'll just put it back and do the same. So I'll, say I'll get three in there. Okay guys, that's those in. I'll, again, I'll come back and put some compost on. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So I need three to go, as I say, up at home. I've got some missing up there. So I'll choose the biggest and the best, put them back in the bag to go home. The other four, I think I'll just continue them down here. It won't take much to dig that out. It's just starting to rain again, so I mean, look at that sky. It's not looking promising. It's forecast showers all day, so I'll crack on. That's it then. Those uh, 
door in there. So I'll have a nice, um, quite a good row of uh, asparagus there. Might be a little close to the hedge, but I can keep it trimmed back. And obviously, if I supplement them, give them some extra food, it should be okay. All right, guys, it's later on in the day now, back at home, as you can see. And I just wanted to show you where those patches are. That's where the last three crowns of asparagus have gone in. The ones that are there, again, were ones that I sold myself, so that's variety Mary Washington. So there'll be two different varieties in there. And then uh, I've just took the cover off this bed here. You can see the shallots are doing pretty well. And I've just been planting out more multi sown radish. So you tell the difference was a lot the first lot I planted out. So there. You can see the difference hopefully between the stages so these are growing quite well now and then uh, over here more multi sown peas so I've just planted another tray out and immediately now I'm going to go and sow the same lot again for a succession and more radish so that those rows between the shorts are planted up so really just to say that uh, I did Prick my on uh, onions, tomatoes out, and they've, a couple of days ago. So I'm hoping this camera can just about make them out there. They're still very small, but one side is um, crimson crush, and the other one's a new cherry. I'm trying to call Rapunzel. Um, so I think they'll be fine in here as long as I'm keeping them inside the propagator. I mean, obviously, if it gets a very cold night, uh, I'll definitely bring them in back into the house. But uh, so far, they're looking all right. So, guys, April the 1st. Who's that down there? Yeah. Uh, things are looking up weather-wise. We've got a couple of days rain next week, but then it's we've got about a good week of solid dry weather. Anyway... Just wanted to update you. Um, somebody's just working on the roof over there. Got these two IBC tanks uh, yesterday, so I've just brought them down here for now. Not sure where they're going to go yet, but uh, two 1,000 litre IBCs to go with the existing one I've got. I actually got four of these. Two went up to my mate's field because he he doesn't have any tap water up there. He's just entirely reliant on uh, capturing rainwater so it's possible that he may want these anyway but uh, they were free so and it was from a spot only a few miles drive from where I live so I just really couldn't pass that up at all and uh, the only other thing uh, give the grass a first cut actually uh, about four days ago or something like that so things are moving forward all right I'll catch you later Guys, so it's uh, April the what's it eighth Saturday. I'm up at my mate's field. Uh, I'm just going to turn you around. So, been in case you're wondering, uh, I haven't been putting out too many videos recently. Well, I've been pretty busy actually helping my mate out. So I'll just give you a quick update, really. Uh, so I've been building these. They're just dry laid, these beds out of brick. Uh, these, that's a, that needs weeding, but there's a ton of alliums in there. In here, strawberries and some peas. I think this one's going to have zinnias or something like that in it. And you can see I've been doing these um, pass cardboard and then wood chip. Sorry about the traffic noise, we're right next to a main road, so I can't really do a lot about it. This bit. It's more for sort of flowers. See a whole load of tulips and daffs there. And then um, there's gladioli just there. Here is some tree peonies coming through. There's a whole bunch of dahlias in here. We just put those sweet peas out a few days back. Uh, not quite sure what's going in that bit down there. More flowers and stuff here. Uh, Rudbeckias. I forget what they are now. Um, got some raspberry canes there still going yet. Daffs and uh, 
just some old croissants at the back of the polytunnel and then if you look just over here uh, that bit was something to do with the when the this was a big mining area uh, for iron ore and I don't know whether that was a winding house or something like that um, but got these IBCs because there's no mains water on this site so entirely reliant on capturing rainwater just a quick look in this poly as you can see they've been busy sowing seeds they've got all kinds of flowers and stuff in here there's some celery there just waiting to go out and cabbage and broccoli just behind it but it'll all be changed again shortly uh, potatoes in buckets I think there's three or four different varieties and then these were the pinks that I planted out last autumn um, there's a few gaps but on the whole they seem to be doing all right they've started to grow now and just recently uh, We've got two rows of raspberries in there, that's variety Glen Ample and again we've used wood chip and everything for paths. Put the rotavator through this bit yesterday so hopefully that will dry out. It's been so wet. Apparently March was the it was the wettest March since 1981. Well yeah I'd believe that. And then we've constructed this uh, essentially a carrot bed but um, we've got radishes in it as well that uh, it should grow good carrots in there. Uh, that's that was a 10 ton load of soil, so again it's quite wet. We need it to dry out, and then we're going to put it through the uh, a sieve. I think that's the plan. Here we've got um, a 75 foot row of uh, loganberry, and that's just covering to kill off the grass, and then that'll be no dig beds. Um, well, actually, we're going to plant through winter squash, courgette, and celery, I think, this year. And now at the other end of the field, this is the bit we've uh, been working on most recently. So, what I'm doing this morning is just mowing the grass down as short as possible and then covering it with membrane. And uh, it'll be the same as here. So, no dig beds. This one has broad beans and then. Um, two long rows of peas and this one has there's about a hundred cauliflowers under there um, yeah so it's getting there and I got another IBC tank I was really fortunate I got about five for nothing this guy was giving them away so we did well there and uh, yeah so I've got another one to put up off the floor and then sort of that's a thousand litres so obviously that can help with watering this patch here guys right, so that's it for this update um, let me know if you if you like uh, to see more updates on the field and how things are going here um, drop me a comment down below because um, I'm interested if you know if you're interested I'll, I'll, um, I'll put some more footage up at regular intervals all right take care see you soon